Hi, this is Harry Guinness for Tuts Plus, and welcome back to my series on Keyboard Maestro, the Mac automation app. This is the fourth tutorial in the series, and today I'm going to look at using control flow actions to really amp up what the macros are capable of doing. I'm assuming you've watched the screencast and read the three previous tutorials in the series. If you haven't, there's links below in the tutorial. You should follow them and check out those posts to make the most of this tutorial. So let's jump straight in. In Keyboard Maestro, you can use control flow actions. So one set of actions will trigger if one thing happens and another if a different thing happens. The simplest way to look at that is to show you the control flow actions. So I've got an untitled macro here. I'm just going to add a new action. And then in the control flow group, you can see these are all the control flow actions available to you. The two main ones we're going to be using in this tutorial are the if then else action and the while action. So I'm just going to add an if then else action and we'll have a look at it. So how the if then else action works is that if the conditions are true, then it will execute one set of actions. If the conditions aren't true, it will execute a different set of actions. So, for example, if you want a keyboard shortcut to do one thing if an app isn't open and another if it is, you can use an if then else action. And then for the condition, you can say that the application condition finder is running or you can use whichever app you want. So Google Chrome. So if Google Chrome's running, uh, then it's going to do one set of things. If Google Chrome isn't running, it's going to do another. The other control flow action we're going to be looking at is the while action. While operates similarly, however, it's as long as the conditions are in effect, it will keep executing those actions. So next, I'm just going to delete this action and we're going to have a look at the macros you're going to be building in the tutorial. So there's two groups of them. The first is the application control ones. So I've got OmniFocus launch here. OmniFocus is my task management app I use to keep track of all the articles I'm meant to be writing. And OmniFocus has a great quick entry shortcut. So if you hit shift command space, a quick entry dialog pops up and you can quickly add tasks. However, if the app isn't running, nothing happens. With an if then else action in Keyboard Maestro, you can have it so that if OmniFocus isn't running, it's going to open OmniFocus, wait till it's active, and then it's going to show the quick entry dialog. If OmniFocus is already running, it's just going to show the quick entry dialog. I've got a similar one for ScreenFlow, which is the app I'm using to record this. It's got the shortcut Shift Command 2. If the app's not running, it's going to open ScreenFlow. Whereas if the app is running, it's going to start a new screencast whenever I use that shortcut. As you can see, an if then else loop is a really simple way to control for different conditions. For the full walkthrough of building those actions, check out the written tutorial. While loops can be a little bit more involved. I have an unfortunate habit of spending too much time using Twitter and Facebook, so I've set up some keyboard maestro macros to stop me doing that. Let's check out Twitter control to start. So Twitter control activates when Tweetbot activates. So while Tweetbot is the application at the front, what it's going to do is wait for a minute and then if Tweetbot is still at the front, so if I move away from Tweetbot, it's going to reset. But as long as Tweetbot remains at the front for 60 seconds, it's going to activate Tweetbot just to make sure it's selected. Then it's going to create a new tweet. Then it's going to insert the text, I am wasting my time on social media, hashtag public shaming. It's going to send the tweet. Then it's going to quit Tweetbot. If I've moved away from Tweetbot, it's going to break from loop, which means it's just going to ignore everything else above that and just go back to normal. Then if I activate Tweetbot again, I've got another 60 seconds before my account tweets out, I am wasting my time on social media, hashtag public shaming, and I get awkward replies. I've also got one for Facebook that does a very similar thing. For more information and a step-by-step -step walkthrough on how to build these macros, check out the written post below. If you've got any macros or areas of Keyboard Maestro you'd like me to explore in future tutorials, please leave them in the comments.